Hi guys, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show right here on C Today. And it is time for the first discussion of this morning, as I promised before. Now, the pillars of Islam are the five duties of every Muslim. So they are the Shahada, prayers, alms, fasting during the holy month of Ramadan, and also the Hajj pilgrim. Now, in the digital era, mobile applications could help Muslims in following an Islamic lifestyle. Now, our guest this very morning is the developer of one such app. And joining us now from Malaysia is Shazrina Azman, Kalbi founder um, and also CEO. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ms. Nina, good morning. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. So, Ms. Nina, we're going to talk more about uh, this app. But before that, tell us um, more about the, you know, the story behind the Kalbi itself. We want to know more. Okay, well, um, I made a spiritual hijra in 2013. And ever since then, I've been on a quest of searching for beneficial knowledge and ways in which I can give back to the Muslim community right. uh, in any way that can benefit, right? So in 2019, uh, I had the ideation of coming up with an app that could really kind of just be the companion for any Muslim that lives around the world, right. uh, anywhere in the world that can help with their lifestyle. And it was uh, basically uh, inspired by uh, a class when I, a tafsir class of mine when I went, and I thought to myself, how else can I spread, um, you know, the the beauty of Islam mm. to the world? And the best way is through technology. And Alhamdulillah, I met up with my partner, Sadia, uh, and uh, she experienced in the tech industry, and so we came together uh, with the idea. And and also the team to come up with uh, this is called B. And so we went live, um, basically live on um, uh, the stores in 2021. Okay. Of course, this app is free, it's ads free. And the whole idea is really just to kind of spread the love of Islam and to really be that companion for anyone who's trying to make sure they pray on time and want to read the Quran. Uh, want to learn more um, about the uh, the deen, the Islam, right, right? anywhere in the world. Mm. So yeah, it's uh, alhamdulillah, it's been a couple of years and um, here, are, here we are today. Right, and the name Kalbi, unique name. So um, why did you, uh, obviously you and your team, um, chose the name Kalbi? What does it mean? Yeah, so, so Kalbi uh, means my heart. Right. And uh, we decided on this name because, you know, I was just reflecting and thinking about how we're all like living in this really busy uh, life. Mm. Everything is really fast, everything's really quick, and we don't really have the time to kind of stop and look within ourselves and our hearts to ask ourselves, how is my heart doing? How is my relationship with God? How is my you know, relationship with um, the Quran? Right. So Kalbi really is a reminder for everyone to look within and to focus on the things that are important, um, to you know, feed your heart with um, the light of Quran, with the light of um, prayers, with the light of remembrance, and right. all these different things that really you know, uplift a person uh, to boost their faith, you know, in their day-to-day -day lives. So yes, that's why we called it my heart. Okay. It so how does um, Kalbi uh, app itself can actually help um, Muslims to pray easier? Okay. Well, uh, you know, we've always been on this mission uh, with almost well, every country that we want to try to give uh, prayers that are on. Right. Uh, alhamdulillah, we work with uh, you know locations to help us do that. So yes, we have accurate prayer times. Uh, we also have, you know, the Qibla Finder. Uh, we also have a section called the Dua section to help you make a lot of um, different supplications, uh, read Quran, and also different uh, classes that we can offer to users uh, in order to help deepen their knowledge of the of, of how to pray, of you know what to what to do in terms of um, uh, worship. And so these different uh, features will, inshallah, help uh, our. Hello, Muslim brothers and sisters. Hopefully, you know, uh, get back into it or, you know, kind of just go through their day to day in, in a good way. 
Of course. And um, obviously, um, you know, if, if um, one is to make a, an application, sometimes it doesn't go swimmingly, right? It has its own ups and downs. Now, um, in um, Kalbi app itself, in your point of view, is there any challenges that you and your team faced? And also want to know more about um, the Kalbi um, users. Um, they come from which country? And of course, um, how many actually um, users are using it currently? Okay, so, so far we have about 1.2 million uh, downloaders. Mm. So left all around the world. Um, the majority comes from Southeast Asia, of course, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, right. Singapore. Uh, we also have uh, users from uh, West as well, America, Canada, Australia, and surprisingly enough, uh, also the Middle East. Uh, but mainly in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and then we have the West. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, in the tech industry, you know, I'm pretty new in the tech industry, but I've learned that there's a lot of work behind what you see here, you know? This is like the end result, the end product, right? Right. But there's a lot of challenges when it comes to design, um, to, you know, trying to make it user-friendly, and there's always, like, constant bug fixing, upgrades, and updates, and, um, you know, uh, what's really interesting is that, you know, as we expand, uh, you know, every country has its own style, has its own kind of vibe. So, for example, like in Malaysia, Indonesia, um, you know, we, we love visuals and we love podcasts and things mm. like that. So, so with, with this, uh, you know, part of the world, we try to, um, you know, spread that through videos and through, you know, uh, events as well. Uh, but in the West, it's really interesting. They love to read. So our emails and our articles do really, really, really well there. So um, that's why, like, with Galbi app, we have, you know, different teams in, uh, around where we're slowly expanding. We have in Malaysia, we have an in Indonesia, inshallah, we'll be going to the Middle East uh, to really localize so that it really, you know, speaks to um, uh, the people there on the ground. Uh, and that's how we feel that we can hopefully connect with more people. Uh, so th these are kind of like some of the challenges there are. There's definitely more, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with every business, with every, you know, with everything that, that you know, every company goes through. Um, but in terms of tech, this is one of the, um, the difficulties. Also, what's uh, what's also quite um, challenging is, is making the app ads free and free, mm. completely free for all um, of our users. So yes. Now, um, let's talk more about that. So, um, you know, what do you seek to provide to Muslim um, communities around the world through Kalbi itself? Um, in terms of, uh, you know, reaching out to communities, we really want to kind of, um, you know, get to know everyone. Uh, we engage with some local scholars from the different countries that we are in and we do some events there we get to know everyone and through that way we hope to really build you know a solid you know community that supports each other you know brotherhood support sisterhood mm, support mm. and you know those different classes that for uh, you know uh, every month uh, that also gives spiritual support and you know through the different videos that we have uh, on our quality tv as well so you know it's it's really building a community of muslims that, that are together striving towards their our end goal, basically. Um, so yeah, Qalbi, inshallah, will be you know that companion for everyone. Right now, today, Ms. Nina is a salam miraj or the ascension of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, what's the meaning of uh, Isra miraj um, to you as a Muslim? Wow, this is like a big question, mm. and what a blessing it is to be, you know, like the, to, to have it today and we're live here. Um, I think the most, uh, when I reflect upon it, I, I think that uh, the Isra Miraj is is a reminder for us to kind of like look back to our faith and you know really be um, grateful for all the different uh, you know miracles that uh, that has been given to us as the Muslim community, like the Quran. And also, you know, the blessing of prayer, because uh, in Isra Miraj, that was when uh, our Prophet Sallallahu was given these beautiful gifts as he went up to the heavens. Um, and I think most importantly is, you know, that time when he went up, it was a difficult time in his life. Yeah. And, and so, you know, God gave him this beautiful miracle. And so for us, you know, let's not, you know, you know believe that God also sends us blessings and miracles, even when we're feeling down in our lives, or we just 
just don't have to give up. We just have to keep on believing and those miracles and blessings will keep happening. There you go. And of course, um, we do think that Kalbi itself is a miracle for Muslims. Uh, obviously, it can actually help Muslims to pray easier. So thank you so very much, Miss Nina, for your time this morning. And I wish you, you and also your team, and of course, the Kalbi app, a big success. Thank you so much, Miss Nina. Take care. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Okay, so uh, that was Miss Nina, and now we're going to talk um, more about um, updates from around the world, but we'll do that later because we have to go for a short break. So stay with us only on the Sea Morning Show right here. <laughs>